like, I guess I could have scoped it out and know that that was coming, but like... Come on, man, it's such a good game. And then fucking Last Stand, Infinite Money, Rise, Zon Augment shoots a hundred thousand portals at me and he has rise two Ugh. And what could i have done differently i think it's just my early game was really weak i think i could have i think i should have lost streaked and i should have played towards piltover and i should have just run it down like that you know what i mean I think if I lost streaked with Piltover, and but I just didn't have Piltover. I like it didn't occur to me because I didn't have Piltover on two one, but I did have Piltover on like two four or something, and that might have made a difference because I didn't hit my board until um, end of three, right? Like until like after Wolves, right? So I could have. At least got in like 10 charge on a T-Hex and then get some money, get some item or some shit. I think that was the biggest, that was the only big misplay. Other than that, I think I played it fine. I had 6 Zon, it's just... <sighs> 6 Zon is not weak. I had 6 Zon, Zeri 2, um, Urgot 2. My whole board was 2 star, excuse me, my whole board was 2 star, star except Senna and, um, Nasus. I think I beat everybody in that lobby except the guy that I played that knocked me out. Because I think he just wipes the whole lobby. He has like fucking a hundred gold. He picked only gold augments and last stand. Oh, fuck the university. Not this shit again. Oh, it's gonna be a fucking ASOL lobby. Alright, well we try. Let's try again. Okay, if I get first, I gain maybe like some of my LP back. Also, why do I only get 30 for a second in a diamond lobby when I'm plat? I feel like that's fucked. Anyways, I digress. It's fucking university. Alright, let's see. We have one A soul, two A soul. <sighs> okay, two A souls isn't bad. But that's not enough to be contested, right? Because I'm not playing A soul, so I would have, like, I'm not playing A soul anymore because it's just so. I, I I hate myself every day that I play it. It makes me sad. So I went back to Orn, but um, two isn't enough to contest each other because they can both make a five star board. So it's kind of fucked for me. I have um, multis here. But I don't really like multis. Maybe I just sell out my multis and I get some other things. Like I forget this guy. I have a pair here. Like imagine I sell all of these and I have boom boom boom. Also, last game I didn't I didn't econ well. I think that was my bigger problem. Because everybody was super well econing. And I, I was just banking on hitting my board. And I hit my board, but I just hit it too late. And I think if I econ better, I would have been better off. But I didn't know how to fix it, which sucks. Uh, this is Irelia pair. We can grab him. Uh, who am I not selling? Like, I'll probably sell Ori eventually. But I could just grab these. I feel like Talia is only good if you get like that whole double trouble shit going on. This is not an item, a shroud this early. I feel like it's not helpful. It's a hodge at least. I can use that maybe. Okay, birthday present. Gain one gold and a two star champion every time you level up. The champion's tier is your level minus four. What? Juggernaut crown. This just gives me a bunch of gold. Or I gain an Orn item every- Double Trouble, wait. Nah, I think I'm just gonna grab the Orn items. Eternal Winter is insane. But I don't have a board to play, which sucks. We, 
we already have the the A solar leveling up. Feels fucking great. Um. All right, what am I looking for here? I don't really have anything on deck. I have a cast pair. I have this Talia pair maybe, but I don't want it because it's just too expensive. I can make 10 gold if I just sell everything, but I don't think that's worth it. Okay, now I have a Renekton, which is cool. Right? We'd love to see that. Uh, after I get rid of my shit, that gives me Sharuma, which sucks. Protectors and this. I'm Jin paired, I'm Irelia paired, and I'm Cass paired. I'm no longer this paired, I'm not playing this or this. I might hedge towards early Sharuma 3, I think. Um, but what am I selling here to make Econ is my question. Eternal Winter is fine here, because they will eventually get stunned if I get Never mind. I'm selling this, I'm selling this, I sell the Jins? I don't want to sell the Jins, but I think my Aurelia for frontline is better. Uh, fuck, and there's a Deadeye unit, which would have been really great. I think that was just the wrong play. I shouldn't have sold the Jins, I should have just tanked the Econ. Because now I could have played a Deadeye backline, that would have been great. Mm. Fuck. I will just put this guy in. Oh, I think it's a bad early game again. But I'm not even playing it like tilted. I think I just made a bad a bad call selling the gins. Because in my head, I was like, I'm not going to play Jin 3 on this board because I'm not going for Ionia because I already have Renekton 2. But then I forgot, like, you know, either hitting an Auction or uh, an Ash would be good for me. But I should have kept the Jins and I could have had Deadeye. Eh, well, it wouldn't have helped because, like, it's a Prismatic Lobby and I don't have a strong board. So I'm, I'm just fucking tanking, right? We have last pack here, we have fucking two A soul players. Alright, let's look. What do we want? What are my items? A glove? A glove and a bow or a glove and a sword? I think a glove and a sword is just a safe bet. Right? We're playing towards Deadeye, I guess. Right, is anybody else playing towards Deadeye? He already has a fucking... He has a starter kit, Zeri, with adaptive implant. Okay, that's not as bad. It could have been worse. I don't think I'm playing Viego here. But I got the Jin back, so I can do this. Am I playing Viego ever? Am I playing Invoker ever is the real question. Multis. Like, how does everybody have a fucking 4 cost already? He's going Double Trouble Talia. He's going... Talia's heavily contested in this lobby. Thank god I wasn't holding the Talias. And we have... Oh, nice, I'm playing the Zon guy. Nobody's going Deadeye, it looks like. Nobody's going Deadeye, nobody's really going Sharima. And nobody's going Invokers, so Invoker is open. I don't think I'm gonna play this. We gotta hope that I win this somehow. Which I don't think so, because this area is just gonna shred everybody now. Oh, look how close we were! Okay, I'm gonna sell you. I just wanna make money. Targon Bastion. Sorcerer. Like, Invoker, Invoker... Ugh. I don't feel like playing towards Invoker because I already have an IE. But we'll see after the items. But is this is this good? Do we ever want to play Targon 
Bastion? I guess if I'm playing Aphelios later? Man, everybody is so strong. And I don't even think I'm out econing you know, that by that much. I can just play towards Shurima. I can play towards Shurima, I can play towards Dede, I can play towards... Um, Do I sell the Renekton, or do I sell this guy? I think I sell the Renekton. Like, who are we, who are we kidding with Renekton 3? Like, come on. Sorry, my music stopped. Hold on. I want to keep the vibes up. Alright, let's think. There has to be a way in this position to bring it back, right? It's not a prismatic lobby, it's only the first augment is prismatic, so we don't have to worry too much about the ASO player. I don't know how nerfed it is, but it seems pretty, like, not as relevant anymore with the whole, like, backwards shit. I got all gold, no items. Fucking fantastic. Oh, god. This game is just testing me on all fronts. Like, I'm still weak. I didn't even get items to make myself stronger. I wait- I, I sack one, I wait till augment, I guess. What is it? 6, 18? 18 divided by 4 is not good, so I have to level up next turn anyways. To be like a proper TFT person. So, what am I looking for? I go to 6 and then I run it down? That's not good. I kinda need to hit like an auction or something. But it, I have just an IE. I have no fucking items except my Eternal Winter. Which doesn't seem to be doing that much if I have to be honest. Whenever I play against the Eternal Winter, all my carries get stunned. But nobody has like a fucking rapid fire carry right now. I guess because it's early game. I guess it matters more later. Okay, come on. Kill one more. Nice! We actually could have won this. If I if I slammed like an IE on Jin, I think I win that. Okay, small forge, Pandora's bench. I don't think I want bench. I don't want honor roll. I don't want unburden. Jewel Lotus is maybe good, but then I don't build IE. You know random number of forger. No, I think I just take the crit chance. I'm hitting a lot of this dude. And now I'm not. Ooh, I got Freylord. Freylord and Bruiser and Invoker and thing. Am I gonna win around finally? Let's go. This is where we turn the boat around, chat. I got an auction as well. I mean, this is pretty good right now. Your strong use gains 40% crit chance, so then I just have like 100 crit chance. Who's my strongest unit? Probably him. Yeah. It's him right now. Do I make an IE? Like, I'd rather make a Deathblade and maybe like a, a Sunder, right? Oh, this is the double trouble guy. This guy's gonna be a problem later, but I feel like Deadeye is good into him. Like, Deadeye's a good matchup against the Talios, because the Talios are just going to hit the front line, right? And the Deadeyes have a chance of sniping the Talios, and there's not really much he can do about it, because he has to devote his whole board to building his, um, 
three-star Italias and stuff, so he's not gonna have, like, you know, anti-Deadeye technology. Okay, what item do I want here? Like, ideally, a second sword would be nice. Uh, if not, I'd grab the Aphelios and fuck it. Uh, bows would be good. Let's grab the Aphelios. So Aphelios does what for me? On next level, I can get three dead eye, <laughs> not even four. Because right now I think Shirima is good for me. I have a Bloodthirster and a Gargoyle Stone Plate. I mean, a Gargoyle Stone Plate isn't bad here either. Right? I can just build one more tank item. You know, it's not the end of the world. I'm still sitting on this Infinity Edge, so maybe I just slam it. Like, what would I rather build with the glove? Yeah, double trouble is there two double trouble guys wait that's good for me because they'll grief each other so i have less to worry about oh i can sell them and make econ should i yeah whatever let's sell them make econ that's one extra dollar i know that he's like a dead eye and I'm, i might put him in later but the chances are i'm gonna keep shirima and i'm just gonna go for auction three um like, maybe that's not the right play, but it definitely feels better than throwing in three, like, losing Shirima for four Deadeye and this front line. I'd rather just have Shirima and just have this, have this happen, right? Uh, is anybody else going Deadeye is what I should check? This guy going for Rek'Sai, I guess? It looks like a Bruiser Rek'Sai build, um, which is bad for me. This guy's going maybe Noxus. This guy is going something... He has a fucking Ari? How does he have an Ari? Oh, he got medium end? No, he got knowledge down. He's level 7. What the fuck? At least this board doesn't synergize. It'd be bad if it was like a Scion or something. And then, oh, this guy has Talia 3. Oh, fucking GG's. Oh, God. Oh, my friend's message. I don't know how to message. How do you message specific people on... I don't know how to DM mid game. Oh, that's my second Orn item. What do I get? Another Eternal Winter? Imagine. Fuck it. Double Eternal Winter. Morelos is good here. Card breaker, I guess. I'm paired on all of these. Hi Justin, or dot dot goose. <laughs> yeah, my camera broke, so now I'm a VTuber. Isn't that crazy? I'm gonna get my face cam working at one point. Uh, all right. Healing orbs is fine. Harm assist is harm assist is decent. Mm, I'd rather have completed item if I have to be honest here, but maybe that's a throw. I think I don't want healing worms. I don't want invoker for sure. Uh, shit. Like this might make my game. Ah, whatever. Ooh, dead eye cross? Nah. I'll just take harm assist. Okay, this is good. Okay, we we got repaired on both. Okay, now I don't roll anymore. Now I'm fine. Okay, we do 
this, we do this. I can swap out one of these. Not good, good, yeah. So I don't know how to how to do it. Like in Valorant, you just press tab. But look, I see your message, and then like it doesn't like there's no button. I don't know what the button is to message in. It's so embarrassing. Anyways, uh, I'm trying to get to diamond, but I keep getting fucked by the game. Like last game, I, I got eighth and I just lost all my elo. So we're not hitting diamond today again. This game isn't looking too bad. I might be able to skate by, because these people are all playing like shit. I don't know what's wrong with them. Playing like silvers out here. Now you got it. I mean, I definitely don't want to diamond today, because I'm going to end after this probably. <laughs> so like... Is Urgot doing anything for me? I have three Deadeye. Instead I can put in what? If I get rid of you, what do I put in? Nothing. So I'm kind of in sitting room. I can swap out Sharima and I could go Targon. So maybe I grab him and I just wait. Like I'm Urgot paired, but I don't feel like rolling for Urgot. Road to Grandmaster? Yeah. I have a friend. Like an IRL friend. You didn't meet him because he goes to UFT. But um, wait, I don't know. What's, what school? Do, uh, uh, wait, I can't ask you that on stream. You might know him. I don't know if you uh, if you went to the same elementary school as some of our other friends, but he's a challenger, like top 100, like, <laughs> and he got there in like one season, like in a month. He just got to challenger, and every season he's been challenger. So I see him on stream all the time, like whenever I watch like the big TFT streamers, and I hate it because not 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 because of him, but I hate that it exists in this world. Because now it makes me feel like I can do it. And I know that he's just uh, he's just a god at the game. But in my head, I'm always like, yeah, but, you know, it's doable. It's totally doable because he exists. Do you still have Scion maybe? Yeah, I'll take it. So in my head, I'm always like, I can do it. Have you been playing for a month? Yeah, I've been playing for a month and I didn't hit Challenger. He's clearly better than me. I can't even hit Diamond in a month. I think he hit diamond in a week. He played for 10 days and he hit diamond. <laughs> like, he's fucking incredible. Uh, these Glove Scion probably goes hard. We'll just do this. So in my head, but because he exists, like, because he, like, I, I know him. Like, I've been to his house. Like, like I'm friends with him, right? Because I know of his, because I know this and I started playing now, in my head, I'm like, I can do this. It's like, he's just like me, for real. He's like... I, I, like, we did the same schooling, we, we were the same, I could do this, and I know we're not, like, that's just fucking ruining my life, because I'm so stupid, I can't get fucking diamond. Uh, we're, we're doing pretty good this game, we kind of cheesed them, this whole lobby didn't scout, because they're not good, right? When you play against good players, stuff like this doesn't work well. Basically, I have this item called Eternal Winter, and it's pretty broken in this game. Basically, what happens is if, if you get attacked eight times, um, or if you get attacked seven times, it stuns your opponents. So if you see somebody that has an Eternal Winter, you're supposed to build an item that makes you not get stunned. But instead, I built two of them, and nobody in the lobby has anti-stun. So I'm just like coasting by them just hitting these two guys and just not being able to do anything. Because I don't I don't even have a full item carry. Like I'm very weak. Like these are all shit units. But nobody I've I've been win, I've been winning. Like I'm high health in the lobby because nobody built anti-stun. Meanwhile, the other game, I play against a guy who's been econing for fucking 20,000 turns and just one-shots my whole board. And it's like, okay, well, fucking GG. Oh look, what's this? Another win. <laughs> I'm gonna get Elo just for free here, which is pretty good. Uh, so what am I doing? I'm going to eight. I go to eight. I put in. I can put in four data on eight. Um, we'll see what items I get. Thieves Club Scion is okay. Am I going to nine? Probably not. So I don't go to nine. Or got two for free. Okay, I can put an Urgot, so I can build Urgot items, and then I can go Urgot carry. If I go Urgot, I switch in, I can check Zon, I can throw in one Zon. Oh, also, 
What? I didn't read the message in the Discord. I just tapped out quickly. Are we playing League tonight? <laughs> or no? I'm gonna try off stream after this, but then I have to eat. So I don't know if I'm gonna miss you people playing. Because, yeah. Oh, that's a good item. That's a Jinsu's. Do I build Jinsu? I have I eat Jinsu. Ugh. This is so bad. I would have to do it. I have nothing else. Okay, 36 to level. Boom. And then... I could go for Deadeye if I get an Aphilios. I have Shuruma for Juggernaut. Is Juggernaut better than what I have? Cassiopeia gives me Invoker. Juggernaut gives me nothing. So I think that's fine. I can just sit, but I should roll once or twice more. Nobody's on right now, but Lina will play. Nice. Ooh. Is 4 Deadeye good here? Probably not. I saw this, I just hold it though. Oh wait, this guy's strong now. Wait. Oh wait, no, he might hit my Eternal Winters. He has no anti-stun. Nice. Look at them just getting stunned doing nothing. Haha, GG's. Okay, I'm almost in ELO, and then it's fine. Uh, okay. Lina will play. I mean, I can get food and I can play while eating. I think that might be a vibe. Can you play League while eating? It's one of those games, right? You can just play while eating, right? Yeah, do that. Okay, so as soon as this game's over, this game's probably gonna take another 10 minutes or so. It's basically between me and this guy, and I just beat him, but we both haven't rolled down. So, these guys are all... They all misplayed the game, I feel. Like, look at this guy. He has everything that you could want. He has fucking all the 5 costs, but he just doesn't have shit all. Like, he doesn't have anti-stun. I feel like if, if, if one person built... If a single person in this lobby built a QSS, I would have gone 8. Like, it's crazy. Oh, this guy might beat me, though. This Lux is gonna go nuts. But we'll see. Oh, he has an Ari as well. Yeah, he beats me. He beats me for sure, for sure. But I'll definitely outlive one of these guys. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, I might actually lose. How the heck does TFT work? You put in units. It's like an auto battler. So you put in units. Have you ever played Super Auto Pets? That's like the easier one that was really popular. Um, you basically put in units. If you buy multiple of the same units, then they upgrade to like multiple stars. See, like this guy's a one star, but then if you buy three of them, they upgrade to a two star. And then they all have abilities and items, kind of like League. You can put three items on them. And then it's a lot of randomness because you get like random augments you can pick from and then random people. And then it's like a slot machine. Yeah, and then you save money. So, like, your money is, like, you can spend it on leveling up, and leveling up gives you better odds of strong units, or you can spend your money on rolling and buying the units, and then you just have to, like, play around all of those concepts. See, so this guy... So that's what I was saying, like, you can build an item... Oh, wait, this guy might beat me? If I, yep, I beat him. So all of these matches, I'm kind of just cheesing them, because I don't have a really strong board, because I didn't get lucky. But I noticed that they're all kind of dumb, so I just built, um, what's it called? <laughs> I built, uh, stun. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy this, I'm gonna be super obnoxious. I'm just gonna cheese my victory. Check this out. I'm gonna get this guy. Boom. GG's. I'm better, yeah. Sometimes it feels like that, and then sometimes I have the other match. The way that it works is you gain elo if you get top 4. So it's 8 people in the lobby, and you take turns 1v1ing everybody in the lobby. And it's like random who you play. So, you take turns 1v1ing people, and then you have overall health. And if you lose a match, you lose health, right? I can maybe even go to 9 here. I'm pretty chilling. I'm pretty chill right now. What am I swapping in? I have 3 Freylord, I want a Liss. Um, I could swap out Shurima, because I don't think it's doing that much for me. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I think I beat this guy, because he has all melee units, so they're just going to run into these guys. Oh wait, no, actually. 
Mm, let's see. It, it, it's risky. We'll see what happens. So look, you see like, um... So, I made this item, which summons a... So when my guy dies, I got the item that summons a unit that taunts them all. <laughs> so, that's why I was joking that I'm being obnoxious. So this unit, right now, is a tank. I built them with this item that if they attack them, they get stunned. And then I gave them an item that if they die, it summons like a little creature that taunts them all to hit the little creature. And then I'm just carrying with my single two-star weak-ass unit with non-good items. And I just, I'm carrying it with a crit. Like I have a crit augment, so I built crit on him. So I'm literally just cheesing my way to a top, uh, whatever, whatever this lobby is. <laughs> like, I'm literally, like, my board is literally, like, so much worse than everybody else's, but they just can't get through my, uh, my couple frontline. This guy does, because this unit's busted, sorry. Yeah, this guy, this guy always beats me, but he also beats everybody else, so I'm just waiting for him to eliminate everybody else, and then I'll, I'll win it. Or I'll try to win it. Um, Alright, let's think. What can I go for? Ooh, I get another uh, another item. What do I want? Oh, baby! Do we go one more? One more for the one time? Oh, shit. You know what we call this? Fucking... <laughs> let's, let's go! Let's go! Build anti-stun, fools! <laughs> uh, okay, I can one item. An Urgot item would be great here. I can build another Zizzerot. You know what? Fuck it, memes. Oh, we're just having fun now. Uh, let's swap out this, and then I'm rolling. Uh, list 2. Um, honestly, I want like a Senna. I want a Senna, if I have to be honest here. I can just make more frontline right now. I don't see a Senna. What, which one is this? It's Piltover. He's probably better than the other dude. I already have Urgot, so maybe I grab Rise. I'm not gonna play Ophelios. Okay, I think I think now's where I start to lose. <laughs> now's where they're too strong. Okay, let's see what I place. Do I get fourth or do I get fifth? Uh, let's see. One of these guys is gonna die, so I can get third, and that would be more elo. Let's see. Come on, give me a third. Oh, I got fourth. Okay, that's good. I did good for myself. I wasn't gonna win that one. And I I did a kind of a bit of a meme we take those. We'll put that on the YouTube. Uh, there's no YouTube, I'm joking. Alright, chat.